subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Oh, hello guys, this is Ann Pichan. Welcome to my Mathematics class. Let's see the today's topic. Today's topic is Rowley's Theorem, part first. Part first means making the first video on Rowley's Theorem and the statement. Uh, today, we will discuss about the statement of the Rowley's Theorem and then I will explain the geometrical interpretation of the Rowley's Theorem. So, we will know geometrically what is the Rowley's Theorem. Okay, so let's start. Let's see. Uh, let's see the statement. Statement is, if the function f of x, any function we have, okay, f of x be any function, f of x, uh, if the function f of x is continuous in the closed interval, this is called the your closed interval of a and b, a is your left uh, extreme points and b is your right extreme points and continuous in a closed interval, important in closed interval and differentiable in open interval, differentiable in open interval. So this open, what is the difference between closed interval and open interval? So I think you are clear, if not clear, okay, here okay, you counting starts from A to B and ends at B. And in this case, okay, you counting doesn't start from, okay, A and, and A and doesn't end with, okay, B. Uh, all, okay, real numbers between A and B, this interval includes, right? And this interval um, does not include both endpoints. <clears throat> Differentiable. And third, F of A is equal to F of B. We will see so what they represent geometrically. And then there exists at least one point. At least one point. We can have more than one also. At least one point. Um, C uh, belongs to AB. Open interval AB. Be careful. Open interval such that a prime of C is equal to 0. Means derivative function at C at X is equal to C, 0. Okay, so once again, number one, if function is <coughs> continuous in closed interval AB and differentiable uh, in open interval and f of A is equal to f of B, then there exists at least one point C belongs to open interval of AB, A and B such that f prime of C is equal to zero, means derivative of function at c is equal to 0. Now let's see the e point wise, okay. 1 by 1, okay. So 1, 2, 3. There are 3 conditions, okay. The rule is there are 3 conditions. If these 3 conditions, which are known as the role is condition, if these 3 role is conditions are satisfied, then there exists at least 1 point c belongs to ab such that a prime of c is equal to 0. If you don't know the geometrically, now let's see, okay. Let's see the geometrically um, condition wise. Uh, see, if function f of x is continuous in closed interval. In closed interval, continuous means we can draw the graph smoothly without any break, okay. We can draw the okay, graph very smoothly uh, from a to b. Alright, so continuous means smoothly, okay. The graph has, the function has continuous graph, okay. Smooth graph uh, in closed interval AB, okay. So if we have a closed interval, let's suppose, okay, here. X is equal to, okay, A. And this one is X is equal to B. Then you will have, okay, very smooth graph, okay. And there will be no and a break, okay, in the graph, right. So continuous graph, okay. You can draw, okay, without lifting a pen or pencil, okay, on the prime A to B, okay. This is <coughs> uh, continuous means, okay. We can draw the smooth graph without any break, okay. Continuous. The function has continuous graph, right, in closed interval. AB. Differentiable in A B. Differentiable in open interval. So differentiable open interval means, first of all, we have to know the differentiable, derivative of Derivative of function gives you slope of the tangent, okay, right? Derivative of the function, uh, algebraic function gives you the slope of tangent, okay, all right? Uh, so other function also, okay, right? Uh, on or either of you trigonometric or if you have a graph, derivative, 
derivative gives you the slope of tangent. Okay, so if okay tangent differentiable means okay geometrically tangent at every point on the graph can be drawn. Okay, right. So differentiable in a b means okay uh, the tangent at every point in x belongs to x, or open interval a b x belongs to a b. So we can draw the tangent in every point. All right, x belongs to a b. And then f of a is equal to f of b. f of a means okay ordinate x is equal to a. f of b means ordinate x is equal to b. So we need okay f of ordinates at x is equal to a and x is equal to b equal okay right. So f of a is equal to f of b means okay ordinates at x is equal to a and x is equal to b are equal. Now let's see okay then there exists okay then I will tell you then there exists okay there exists at least one point c belongs to a b. Such that okay, open interval a b such that a prime of c is equal to zero. A prime is derivative of function at x is equal to c. Derivative of function okay. So as I told you, the derivative gives you the heat, slope of tangent, and slope of tangent is equal to zero means okay, your tangent is parallel to x axis. So what is the conclusion of Rolle's theorem? Okay, if all three conditions are satisfied, then then when we get the slope of tangent is equal to zero, a tangent is parallel to x-axis. Now I'm going to show you the full diagram. Okay, look at here. Oh, let me draw the coordinate axis. <coughs> x-axis, x dash, x prime, y, y prime, and this is the origin. <coughs> Continues in a Close interval a b. Let's suppose here x a, here b at x, x is equal to b, x is equal to a. Continuous curve from a to b. Up to here, just simple diagram I've taken. Continuous y is equal to f of x. So from here to from here to here, graph uh, graph of the function is continuous. Is there is no any break or differentiable at every point tangent can be drawn. Okay, all right f of a is equal to f of b so what is the meaning of f of a now let's draw okay. here yeah. at x is equal to j function is y equal to f of x so this will be your f of a and this will be your f of b this up to here is f of a f of b f of a this equal to this okay F of A. Here. F of B. So this is F of A and this one is the F of B. Okay. Or you can say the ordinates. This is F of A and F of B are ordinate at x is equal to a and x is equal to b are equal geometrically right and y is equal to f of x and a function this is the graph of this function continuous graph continuous in a b means okay graph okay continuous graph we have a continuous graph from right we have continuous graph and closed interval a b and uh, differentiable in a b means uh, here okay in open interval tangent can be drawn at every point okay tangent can be here also here also every at every point okay but 
in this interval, open interval. Means from here to here. Here we can't draw, here we can't do tangent. But okay, from here onwards to up to here, we can draw. Means okay, from here, but not at this point, not at this point, but from here we can draw, right? Okay. Means okay, from here, at x is equal to um, here, not a, and we can't draw at x is gray and x is gray. But <coughs> tangent can be drawn according to this. Uh, in this interval, right? Uh, you can choose x okay within a and b. Any any value, okay? Any value within a, a and b you can choose, but every uh, point uh, within a b we can draw the tangent. Alright, differentiable means tangent can be drawn in open interval, in shortcut, okay. Open interval. And f of a is good f of b, as I told you, ordinates at x is good a and x is good b are equal. Number one. First condition uh, of Rolle's theorem, graph is continuous, right, and uh, smooth graph we can draw. And second, tangent at every point in open interval can be drawn. Third condition, uh, f of a is equal to f of b, means ordinates at x is equal to a and x is equal to b are equal. If these three conditions are satisfied, then according to the Rolle's, uh, role a, there exists at least one point C. So let's suppose, okay, this is the point, okay, where tangent is parallel. At least there exists, okay, at least one point C, at least okay, there exists at least one point C belongs to A and B. Within A, we mean in open interval, C belongs to open interval, C within A and B, right? Uh, you will get one point C so that f prime of C is equal to zero at this point okay f prime of C is equal to zero means derivative at x is equal to zero then derivative uh, of f of x at x is equal to C is zero means tangent is parallel to at x is equal to C tangent is parallel to x axis so this is the point okay where you can get okay tangent is parallel to zero so f of c tangent derivative of this means okay tan slope of tangent is equal to zero right so tangent is parallel to x axis this is a tangent right so meaning of this one means uh, slope of tangent is zero at x is equal to c all right means okay tangent is parallel to right then if all Conditions, if all Rolle's conditions are satisfied, then according to the Rolle, then there exists at least one point C belongs to open interval AB, A and B, such that uh, open interval A and B, such that F prime of C is equal to zero, mean uh, there exists at least one point C where we can draw tangent parallel to x axis all right so this is the geometrical interpretation of Rolle's theorem so not only this kind of a graph you can have okay uh, we can have this type of also okay mm, this type of and uh, this this type of also we can get okay all right and uh, this type of all right and uh, you can have this one also this type of also graph you can have, right? Mm. Okay, and equal, equal, equal. And here, tangent, at this point, okay, tangent is parallel to x axis. Here also, tangent is parallel to x axis. And here, tangent parallel to x axis, tangent parallel to x axis, tangent parallel to x axis. Okay, uh, so now I think you understood the geometrical interpretation of Rolle's theorem. So, if any problem, you can tell me. I think you are clear about the geometrical interpretation of Rolle's theorem. Uh, if you have any still problem, you can ask me. Um, I will come up with other questions of Rolle's theorem. How to verify the Rolle's theorem in next video. It's very interesting uh, how to verify the Rolle's theorem. Now, if you are once clear about the uh, statement and geometrical interpretation, you will feel very easy uh, about the verification of uh, Rolle's uh, theorem. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.